Well, hello, everyone. Welcome. So I recorded this morning the weekly guidance video for August, the week of August 17th. And in that video, um, Archangel Daniel showed up. And in that video, I could feel Archangel Daniel wanting to come through with a message. And he did talk about being discerning and about being discerning about trickster energy. And I, that was the first time I had ever um, heard that phrase or um, thought about um, negative energy as trickster energy or, or uh, what trickster energy is. And I thought that that was something that I really, throughout the day, was being called to kind of um, revisit. And I thought about doing it in a short or a reel but I didn't really feel like a one minute was going to be enough because I feel like this is an important message and it's not just for this week. I feel like in these energies, um, collectively with, um, the 5d new earth energy coming in and the 3d energy, um, however you want to think about it, um, being split or, um, definitely being, um, I don't want to say left by the wayside. Um, but you know, those who are going to be ascending into the, the, the fifth dimension, the way in which to do that is to be able to discern, to, release the 3D lower vibrational energy of fear and um, all the aspects of fear that those lower energies are. Greed, lust, criticism, judgment, jealousy, unworthiness, powerlessness envy, you know, all the big ones, right? All the, all the big ones that are listed in the Bible, right? And so I felt like Archangel Daniel was really coming in because to make that transition or to make that split, but it, I guess that's one way of, of thinking of it, but transition into the, the, the ascension into the higher dimensions, um, you have to learn discernment. And discernment is a vibration that's right up there with gratitude. And I talk about gratitude a lot. I mean, if you've been following me for any amount of time, you know that I've been talking gratitude, gratitude journaling, getting into the vibration of gratitude if you're trying to manifest, especially something quickly. Um, if you're holding a lot of trauma and drama and you need to kind of raise your vibration to get into alignment with, with what it is you're needing or wanting gratitude can, uh, and gratitude journal, the practice of a gratitude journal can really like quickly raise you into alignment. So I just wanted to go back to Archangel Daniel's energy, which if you watch the video, if you haven't, please do. But if you, um, watch the video, you'll see like I even my my whole demeanor gets soft, calm. Um, my voice lowers. I really, really felt his energy. And it's such a loving energy. So I'm going to tap into that and see if I can bring through a message from Archangel Daniel and uh, what he wants to talk about in regards to discernment. Um, and we'll just see where this takes us, honestly. Um, so this is the, um, card and it is Daniel divine discernment. And it says, and I can't read it without my glasses. <laughs> Trust in the messages within. They are divinely guided. So not only um, am I feeling divine discernment, but I'm also 
feeling that Daniel is someone to call in from the angelic realm as an archangel to also help you to trust and act on the discernment or the intuitive messages that you are receiving. So, Archangel Daniel, what are the messages you have for us, helping us to understand discernment? Discernment is a vibration that helps you to recognize what message is divinely guided and what message is trickster energy. Trickster energy is going to be connected to your ego, the egoic mind entity that resides within all of you as human. You agreed to the egoic mind state and attachment when you agreed to come into this earthly realm to help guide and aid humanity and remembering how to judge or discern what vibration is of the light, is positive, will guide you in raising your frequency, in remembering who you are, that spark of divinity, that connection to all that is. Knowing that there is no to blindly trust. The reason that you need the vibration of discernment is because the trickster energy, those lower frequencies, attached to your ego of the mind, which is different than the ego of your will that resides in your solar plexus. Please do not confuse the two. Your will is that connection to the divine that keeps you on the course and guiding you towards your purpose. which is very different from your egoic mind and the will that it tries to assert for you to control or manipulate situations and people into what it is you are wanting, desiring. At a level that makes you think that you will not be safe and stable if you do not have this thing or this person or this relationship or this situation. We would have you know that the will of your solar plexus that is guiding you towards your purpose, keeping you on course and track for your mission why you came to the earth plane, agreed to this opportunity 
because it is a very beautiful opportunity to impact the energies at this time to allow planet Earth to ascend into higher states of frequency, higher dimensions, as Mother Gaia ascends those on her who are staying in that frequency will ascend with her and this is beautiful but the discernment must come between the ego of the mind and the will of the solar plexus. The will of the mind and the ego of the solar plexus. For they are two very polar opposite energies. And your task as a human embodying your spiritual being is to make the difference understand the difference discern the difference learn the difference that the ego and the will of the mind are the lower frequency, the third dimensional frequency that you came into this planet with. The will and the ego in your solar plexus chakra is your guidance system to your purpose, to your mission here on earth. From your divinely guided self that is the discernment the frequency that we are here to help you understand many of you get into the frequency of discernment without even realizing it. You embody your purpose and you let that be your guidance system and you set aside the egoic mind that is trying to pull you off course to keep you playing small, keep you in the sameness it is your ego and will of your solar plexus that are always driving you to the more to the next step to the next challenge to the next learning opportunity to the next relationship that is more compatible to the more pleasure pleasurable ways of being the ego of the mind tries to keep you working and sees pleasure as bad or distracting or not what you're supposed to be doing the ego of the mind would keep you striving and driving We are here to help you to understand the difference between the two so that you may let go of the ego of the mind and embody, lean into, work with 
the will of your solar plexus. Discerning between your intuitive guidance system and the trickster energy that is the lower frequency that is keeping you stuck, blocked, not able to have and be and do what you want because what you want is why you came here. So many of you have dreams in your mind that you feel are too impossible, too big, too hard. Whatever you feel that is keeping you from taking the steps towards them, that is the trickster energy. The ego or will of your solar plexus is leading you to the steps, the opportunities, the people that will lead you to those dreams, those desires that feel too impossible, too big. For there is no impossibility in this universe. With God, all things are possible. The energies will align. You will have what you need. You will be shown the way. You will be guided every step of the way. But you must discern the information. That is your task. That is what we are help here to help you do. All you must do is call on us. We will guide you, show you the way bring you the right information, the right people, the right situations, the right opportunities, everything and anything that you would need. Through the frequency of discernment. And continuing to raise your frequency into joy. For that is the ultimate expression of love. That you are here to experience in your lifetime. And that is why it is so important to let go of the egoic mind to get into the will of your solar plexus, to be guided to your passion, your purpose, and what will ultimately bring you joyful fulfillment. We are Archangel Daniel. You are divinely guided. We love you so much. That was amazing. And I'm going to tell you why. I can't tell you how long it took me to figure that out. To figure out that my mind was not who I was. And I had to quiet it to get to that intuitive voice 
from my solar plexus that was guiding me, that was guiding me to take the steps to the people, to the knowledge, to the experiences that brought me here. I hope this was valuable. Please drop a comment. Let me know how this helps you. What you received from it, what resonated with you. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for being here. We'll talk soon. Please like and subscribe. I truly, truly appreciate all the support. Thank you so much.